statement and assumptions. So in each question below is given a statement followed by two assumptions, number one and two. So you have to consider the statement and the following assumptions and decide which of the assumption is implicit in the statement. Okay, so there is implicit. What is implicit? Implicit means implied. Implied means the conclusion drawn from explicit verbal statement or written statement. Explicit means explicitly, means it is specifically told that you have to do this or it is explicitly written, yes you will do like this. So this is explicit, implicit is a conclusion drawn. You will do like this, then there is an implicit. If you don't do like this, then something bad may happen. This is implicit. It's not written, but it is implicit. A conclusion drawn from that statement. So it's a conclusion. It's not directly written. That's what the meaning of the implicit. It's implied. You have to understand that. It, it, we will not say it. We will not write it. Okay, so now question number one. You are hereby appointed as a programmer with a probation period of one year and your performance will be reviewed, reviewed at the end of the period of confirmation. This is a line written in the appointment letter. So this is explicit statement. Okay. Now assumption one. The performance of an individual generally is not known at the time of appointment offer. So is this a is this something which is implied, which is assumed? Yes, based on the, based on the statement, based on the statement, we can write that the performance of an individual has to be tested over the period of time. So based on statement, which is a given statement, the performance of an individual need to be tested over the period of time. So that's why it is not known at the time of appointment letter. That's why it is not known at the time of appointment letter. So it is implicit. So this statement is implicit that the performance of an individual is not known at the time of performance, at the time of appointment letter. Assumption 2. Generally an individual tries to prove his work in the probation period. So when the performance of individual is not known, so the individual puts his best effort, puts his best effort to show his performance. So that's why the individual put his best efforts to show his performance in the probation period. So this is also, so it is also implicit. So both these statements are implicit. So that's why our answer is E, both 1 and 2 are implicit statements. Implicit assumptions. Now question number 2, it is desirable to put the child in school at the age of 5 or so. So assumption 1 is that at that age a child reaches, reaches appropriate level of development and is ready to learn. So this statement, the statements says that, implies that, says that 
a child's mental level at age of five year has reached to a level that he can go to a school. So, as per given statement, child of five year also has good mental level that he can go to school. At that level, whatever is told in the school, so he can learn that. And he can learn easily in school. So this is an implicit statement. This is an implicit assumption. That school, whatever is taught in the school at the age of five level, every student has that mental capability to understand that. So this is implied. Stay, assumption two, the school do not admit children after six years of age. Now in this statement, it is nothing, it is nothing talked about. It does not talk about the six years, a child of six years. So this statement we cannot draw. We, we cannot make a conclusion that a, a school will not admit a children of six years. So since the given statement does not explain or talk about explicitly of children of six years age. So, it is, so assumption two is not implicit. So, only assumption one is implicit. So, our answer is a. So in these type of questions, so it's a general statement. So based on that, so you assume that's why these assumptions are there. That okay, according to this statement, this is the assumption that it should be happening like this. So you have to choose that right assumption. Let's see more questions in the next chapter.